Hey guys, this is Justin. Um, this is a 900D. Uh, this is actually a PC which I'll be revamping for a friend of mine, Matthias. Uh, he has his own company called Mavita, um, where they have uh, they specialize in a special program called Watchout, which is basically uh, software which you can link up multiple projectors into the uh, the one picture. So um, this is a rendering PC and it has um, X79 platform, um, Asus, uh, I think it's the Rampage 4 Extreme, it has um, 64 gigs of DDR3 uh, Corsair RAM, three uh, of the original Titans, and um, custom water cooling set up and two PSUs. Um, I was actually asked to take a look at this PC because it randomly starts uh, restarts and uh, sometimes it gets to the desktop most times it just restarts during uh, the BIOS uh, load up and um, after some problem testing I kind of figured that it's the motherboard so I went ahead and gotten uh, another one to replace it and a 3820 just to test out the, the CPU in case if the CPU is faulty with that one um, and here's a couple of other parts uh, that I have for, for my ongoing projects. So, plans are... Uh, let me see here. This chassis is really not in the best of shape, unfortunately. So it's, Let me just put you down here for a second. Alright. Good stuff. Is there, it's really difficult to remove the side panels. I think it's being dropped at some point. Um, so you just give me a second. There we go. Side panel off. And I'll just flip the camera up here. So this is the way the system looks. Um, so it's a EK water blocks water cooling setup with soft tubing. And as you can see, the tubing has actually changed color. Um, this was a blue liquid. Well, it is a blue liquid, but the tubing has changed to a kind of uh, greenish. Um, I don't know. It's a plasticizer anyways. So I'll have to take apart the water blocks and give them a good flush. Uh, the same as the CPU water block there as well. Um, it has two radiators. It has a 360 in the front. It has a 480 in the top. Um, these I actually plan on reusing uh, when I do the revamp. It has two power units. Um, I'm not sure how many watts this NZXT Halo is, um, I think it may be 750 or 850 watts, um, but right now this uh, uh, NZXT power unit is uh, dedicated to giving electricity to uh, the motherboard, and the motherboard only. And then we have this AX1200i which is giving power to the uh, graphics cards and the two SSDs, um, and the pump and fence. So it's it's kind of a weird setup. I mean, you have this, this NZXT24 pin, and what they've done is they've taken two wires, a black and a red, and they've sort of just hot-wired it into the Corsair uh, 24 pin. And this is so that when the Corsair is started up, it jump-starts the NZXT version as well. So it's a very, it's not an elegant setup. So that's what I'll be looking at. Um, checked out a couple of reviews and it looks like each Titan X draws roughly uh, 250 to 300 watts each. Um, so this setup should actually be run with comfortably with just an AX1200i. So my plan is to take this one out, do some testing and if it works properly then I'll just leave this one in. I might move it in the back there instead and might move this radiator downstairs and um, yeah. Uh, as you can see as well, um, the side panel has taken some damage, it's got some dents in it. The chassis itself has got a lot of scratches, there's a lot of dust as well, so all of this I'll be cleaning up. Um, and then revamping the, the tubing, I'll actually, um, I've just ordered some hardline tubing um, and a bay reservoir. So pump and bay res go up here obviously, um, so then this area will be free. All of these tubings, all of this tubing will actually turn into hardline tubing. Um, so the fittings and the tubing is on the way. And um, I'll also be putting a drain valve down the bottom here as well, just coming off the radiator. At the moment, there's no drain, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, 
I think what I'll have to do is tip the chassis over so that this is laying on the table and sort of just unscrew one of these fittings and just try to let the water drain out that way. But we'll see how that goes anyways. Um, yeah, and hopefully move that one down the bottom as I said before. Um, as you can see, the cables are, they're a rat's nest. Uh, so the cables are plan on routing around the back like they should be. Um, no sleeving. What I'm going to do is just individually split these wires so it's no longer a ribbon and then uh, bundle them together in, in bundles of three or four and uh, have those like nice and aesthetically run on the back. Um, may you do some aesthetic upgrades as well. I might paint these red, uh, I might paint these red ones black or a grey so that it matches the motherboard and blends in more. I know that there's red on the motherboard but it's kind of sticks out too much in my opinion. Um, yeah, just give me a sec, I'll flip the PC over and we'll have a look at the cables. I gotta say, this thing weighs a ton. Sorry. It weighs so much and the panels pop off all the time. But this PC is actually not for show as it's a dedicated rendering PC so it's just going to sit underneath the table. And as you can see there's a lot more scratches and whatnot. Uh, and that's what it looks like on the back. Um, this looks like a custom, oh not a custom, some kind of cheap fan controller. There is a LED controller down here in the PCI slot. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the rundown of this this uh, this revamp. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you do? You have any plans? Do you have any ideas? What I should uh, things that I should do? I'm not going to be doing any full on mods, um, but if it's something easy that you guys suggest, then I'll I'll try to implement it. And um, oh wow, look at all of those surprised faces. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, any suggestions? Then I'll I'll try to implement it. So. Um, this is not going to be a long project. Um, look, at that, look at that panel, bent to the shit house. And it's sitting like this, it's just like... Ugh. So I'll try to beat these ones out, get them straight as well. If not, I'll see if there's any replacement parts in the market. Um, yeah, that was it guys. Um, let me know what you think. If it's a good video, um, you know, give it a like and let me know if it's something I should continue doing. I like doing these live feeds so you can see what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and you can actually hear what I'm thinking um, before the project is actually done. And um, yeah, if, if you do like it, then I'll continue it. If not, then I'll shut up and uh, just post pictures. So uh, that's it for me. Take care and um, see you at the next live update.